Yeah, today's topic was um, diversity in the Me Too era, um, about adding diversity to board and senior leadership of business organizations. First, the presenters had um, explored some of the instances where they've experienced some sort of um, bias in their uh, practices and they you know explained what they've done to respond to that. After graduating from high school I was at a friend's house for a, a barbecue and it was a really exciting time you know that I graduated and I happened to be wearing Harvard shorts at that that day um, and so uh, one of the parents asked me you know you know Clyde are you going to Harvard and I, so I told them no no ma'am I'm going to William & Mary um, but my friend sort of chimed in who's you know overly proud buddy of mine saying well he could have gone to Harvard if he wanted to or anywhere else he wanted to go and so the mom probably asked me, you know, do you, know, do you play football? And, I, and so I was a little embarrassed, but I said, no, ma'am. And then she goes, basketball? And I said, no, ma'am. And so my friend kind of saved the day and they jumped in and go, no, mom, he's, he's just wicked smart. So I think from the work that we do is we look at uh, tone at the top and how do we create inclusion and value across the organization. And when we start with leadership and having a group of um, diverse people in leadership, we can have value build up from um, from all levels of the organization. For businesses, you know, their the most important asset is really sort of information. You know, we, we live in an age where what you know can determine sort of whether or not you exist tomorrow. And so to the extent that they don't recognize either an opportunity or, or a real or perceived threat, they are really, really disadvantaged. And as lawyers, it really your job is to sort of A, kind of advise them, let, let help them sort of navigate and see the world and mitigate risk. But B, you also, we also have a role as leaders. And so to the extent that they really aren't taking an active role in kind of you know, making you know, proactive choices to, to you know, fix their blind spots, we, we're not serving them well if we don't kind of help them see those spots ahead of time. I think uh, diversity and inclusion is a conversation going on in boardrooms across America. So I think that um, diversity of viewpoint, diversity of thought uh, leads to better business decisions. So I think it's really a measure of good business. It's important to talk about this because I think um, we want business organizations to succeed. Um, and so we're looking at every avenue to really help um, businesses, generally Wisconsin businesses, to succeed. And they will do that by being more inclusive of all different types of people.